got some dark patches. A bit frustrating. And no good rotten balsa. Okay, back on the boat this morning, guys. And uh, last time we came in, repaired our balsa core that was all wet and damaged and rotten. And same with the ply here as well. And that went really well for us. So that's that sorted. But what we need to do now is do the same. Unfortunately, on the other side, it's not quite so bad this side actually. So you can see here the balsa is a bit dark along here. Same deal. The water's tracked down the edge on here and then into here so we need to cut all of that out we'll mark it with a marker pen and then we'll cut that out just to excuse the noise it's Richard on the on the deck getting our fan ready to go um, and then while Rich is doing that I'm going to come in and check our walkways because unfortunately again a few weeks ago we noticed that there were some screws holding the teak deck in now and we've got some dark patches bit frustrating but we need to get it sorted and we will do so we're going to get suited and booted all the fans on and we're going to get cutting
Okay, so we've had a three hours at this now, uh, chopping away at this bad core. And as you can see, we've got quite a lot. It's a real shame, really. Um, and this has all been caused um, by screws that have been used to, to hold this, this teak decking down. So it's a real shame that somebody's done that, but there you go, that's just one of those things. So uh, yeah, what we found is that the water's been tracking down this side, it's then hit this fiberglass dam, and then it's actually worked its way across this way. That side is dry, and then it's worked its way all the way down here. And then by the time it's got to this part of the walkway, it's pretty much damaged all of it. As you can see, I mean, we've not had a chance yet to cut all the way down at the bottom here, but pr pretty sure that's all gonna be damaged I'm afraid so that's all gonna have to come out so um, we're just gonna cut now all the way down to the bottom and we'll get the rest of that damaged core out and we'll also remove all this ruined and no good or rotten balsa and on the other side uh, Richard has removed all of this damage core as well so nice bit of triangle cut out here and then you've just come in and removed all of the bad core there so what we will do is we'll just come in as we did before and we'll come in with the damp meter and just check all that and then we'll be able to sand all that down and get that recored it has been mentioned to us about actually recoring this with some sort of composite or foam um, which actually would be a good choice but this is a repair we're not looking to replace all of this so I think just for, you know, we, yeah, we could replace this with foam and that'd be great, but it'd stand out a little bit, I think. And we are, re we are uh, repairing rather than replacing. So as long as this doesn't get damp again, there's nothing wrong with bolster. It's a good core material. Um, it's just no good if water gets in. So I'm gonna stick with bolster, I think, on this bit here. Um, and then I think we've just got to make a decision then on how best to address this bit down there. So all of that dirty rotten balsa is now out. So you can see under here, that's all now gone. All the way back to that bulkhead and all the way, all the way forward as well. So what we need to do now is just come and do some clean up really. So we need to get rid of this. We've still got a little bit of a, an edge here. So we just need to come in with a sander and just get this nice and flat. And, flush with the underside of the deck and then we'll also need to just abrade this with the sander as well some 40 grit on the rotary sander just so that when we come up with the fiberglass that will stick to that nice and we get a nice mechanical bond and we've got some cleanup to do in here as well this back edge we come in with a wire 
brush, I think. Get rid of all of this muck. You see here, these are the problems we've got. So uh, screws poking through absolutely everywhere, all the way down here. So we're gonna to need to repair these as well. So repair all these screws with the one here, look. See it here. And we've got loads of those coming through. So we're gonna to have to draw those out and, um, and fill those as well. But let's get this clean up done. Morning guys, so we are back on the boat this morning. So last time we came in and removed all of our rotten balsa from the underside of this walkway. And we're back now to pretty good balsa. This is all nice and dry. We will moisture test it actually before we uh, come in and repair it, but this all looks and feels dry. But what we have got is lots and lots of these little screws poking through that we use to hold the teak, teak deck down. And they're all along here. This walkway is absolutely peppered with them. And that's what's caused our balsa to go rotten. So it's got wet and then gone rotten over the years. So what we need to do is we're gonna draw all of these screws out. So we need to find them, identify them. And then what we're gonna do is draw them out, uh, drill them out with uh, probably something like a four or five millimeter drill, uh, just to clean them out. And then what we're going to do is come in and fill those with epoxy and then we'll put a gel coat repair on top. I know that's a bit of a controversial move, uh, gel coat on epoxy, but uh, it has been proven on Boatworks today to work. And these are going to be small, minor spot repairs. So um, as long as the epoxy does its job and keeps the water out, that's all we're really concerned about because we will be putting a teak deck on top anyway. But uh, yeah, let's get these screws drawn out and get them drilled out. Okay, so we've drawn all those screws out and you can see here, this is how many screws came out. I think there's about 30 in there. 
just on this one side of the deck. And then what we've done is just marked with green tape where the holes are, because they're so small, they're about three mil holes, three millimeters, so we just can't see them. So we've marked them with tape, so at least we know roughly where they are. So what we're gonna do now is just grind those out, clean them up, and um, get them ready to drop some epoxy in. Okay, so we've drilled all those holes through and prepped those holes. And then what we've done is come with some tape on the underside of the walkway and just taped off those holes so that we can pour epoxy in from the top. And you can see that runs all the way back down. Nearly 30 holes in total, I think we've counted. Now, we have got about five holes that have come through in this dry core. And what we're gonna do is just to be absolutely sure, we're just gonna get rid of that. So we're gonna cut that out now and then we can just work up to this natural dam and recore all of that. So we're gonna get suited and booted, fans on, and we're gonna get this cut out. So the holes are all taped up, ready to go. Uh, Richard is just mixing up some uh, epoxy resin West Systems, and then we've got these little syringes that we use in here. So we'll fill these up with the epoxy, and then we should be able to squirt those into those holes. Okay guys, excuse the wind noise, just up on the deck here. So you can see that these holes are now filled. So we're just gonna let these set up and then we're gonna have to leave them overnight. And then what we'll have to do is just clean the aiming blush off these, give them a quick sand, and then we'll be able to fill that with gel coat. But in the meantime, we've just got a couple more holes at the bottom, at the back here that we need to address. And while I'm doing that, Richard is just gonna take up this last bit of deck here just in preparation so we can actually get that side done next time round. Okay so I'm just cleaning up these two last holes on the end of the walkway here so we've got a, a hole here and a hole here so we've just drilled those out and put a, a nice little bevel on it as well so we can fill that with thickened epoxy. We've got quite a bit of gel coat damage here once we've taken the sealant off so we will need to come back and address that but we just want to get these filled for now so that we can keep the water out of the boat. Okay, so it's late in the day, guys, and we've just managed to get this piece of timber up. 
uh, just ahead of the chain locker. Still need to get this piece up at the moment, but what we're gonna do is gonna, it's gonna rain tomorrow. So I think we've got, how many screws have we got there? Did we say seven or eight, I think? Seven there. Seven, there. yeah, so we've got seven or eight holes that we're gonna address real quick. So same as before, drill these out. Uh, just put a nice little chamfer on the top of the top edge and then fill them with epoxy with the syringe. Okay, so we just need to leave that epoxy to set up now and then we can come back in and apply our gel coat on top. So that's gonna be a wrap for today's video, guys. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give us a thumbs up and we'll see you on the next one.